What up nerds? In this video I want to cover hard and soft references in Unreal Engine. This will demystify some common misconceptions about casting and when properly done it will help you manage assets at a larger scale so you can maintain good runtime performance. Now if this video does help you and you want to support the channel you can go to my Steam page at Nopal Studios and check out my games and support us that way. So what are hard and, hard and soft references? Pretty much a hard reference is a reference that directly links to an asset. Uh, so I have an example here in my BP test. Let's say I have a reference to a skeletal mesh. Right here, uh, you can tell that this is a hard reference because of this solid color of blue. Uh, you know, this is a hard object reference. And this was pretty common to reference directly to assets. Now, the problem comes in when uh, you reference a lot of heavy assets. So imagine if I had multiple other assets like sounds or uh, a bunch of different clothing assets and things like that. So what we can actually do to show this is if we right click on BP test and go to size map. You can see that these the, the FPS hands take up about eight megabytes. So when Blueprint loads, it has to load all of its hard references in order to fully load the class. So if we had a bunch of hard asset references here, then it could balloon up to 800 megabytes, two gigabytes some cases because of the way some people accidentally structure their game loading one blueprint could end up loading their entire game and this is actually what casting does like well this is the problem of casting is that it will have to load the blueprint asset and all of the things that the blueprint depends on. So what we can do to actually change this, so keep this in mind, we can start using soft references. So all I have to do is change this over to a soft object reference. So when I save and then I go back to the size map, you can see that it is super small. And this means I can cast to it and the cast is virtually free. Lo loading this blueprint is not a big deal. So then the question becomes, well, how do I actually load said asset? Well, if we go back into the blueprint test, all we really need to do is bring this out and then we want to async load our things. All right. Uh, that way, we're not stalling the game or hitching on the game thread to actually load a potentially heavy asset. And this is going to give you back an object. And all we're going to do is cast that to uh, what is skeleton. Uh, all we're going to do is cast this to the actual thing that we need. Well, that's we'll just. Where is my good old skelly mesh? Skeletal mesh, right? And then if we had a skeletal mesh component, we could just assign it directly that way. And if we do this, we can bring up the size map again. And this, the size is very lightweight. So the problem with casting, so is not really that you're casting to 
blueprints in general, it's that you are casting to something that can potentially load a lot of other stuff. And that is the problem area. Now, an area that I do want to touch on, an often recommended practice is to instead create a create an interface and have it return that class or that thing that you want. But this doesn't actually solve the problem that casting introduces in blueprints. Because here we have get thing, right? And it's it's returning the the actual BP test object, which is this. Uh, in, in a real game, it you'd be you wouldn't have it set up like this. This is just for demonstration purposes. So right here we have the size map of 24.2. If we look at this, you know we we still load that blueprint. It, it has to be loaded. Now if I switch us back to a regular like a hard reference, this is still going to have to load whatever is referenced by that class. So when I go back to the size map, look, here it is. I have to load that asset anyway. So just blindly throwing an interface on something will not solve the actual problem that casting introduces. Now, you can create a base blueprint class that has your functionality and then inherit from it and only set your references there and it'll be fine. Uh, casting is typically not a problem in the C++ world because when Unreal initializes, it creates what is called a class default object of every single native class uh, anyway, and typically you don't really hard code assets inside of your C++ classes. So that is really the main thing to keep in mind when it comes to casting in blueprints. Is the danger is that it loads whatever is hard referenced. With soft references, you control uh, how things are loaded and when they are loaded. If you have any questions about this, please let me know in the comments below. See you, nerds.